All right. We're going to change the blower motor resistor here to control the speeds. Already changed the blower motor. Just got to take out all those screws. And this panel here. Blower motor's in here. Just these five screws. Plugs out. Three screws hold it in. That's the blower motor if you got to change that. Now the resistor is located right there behind those wires. Four wires holding it in there. Now that controls your speed. If you have problems with your blower motor speed, this is the guy right here. So you're going to need a 3 8 socket or nut driver to get the two nuts out. And this comes out like that. Been in here for ages. So unplug it. It's the old one there. You get the new one in. You can see it there. Just goes in behind there. Might want to clean it out a bit. All that dust build up over years. Now when you put in the new one. There's two holes and you have two holes on top. You gotta make sure the two holes go on top or it won't go in. It just sits flush just like that. Make sure your wires are all in. We're gonna tighten that up. All right, turn it on. Second speed, third, and fourth. Yeah, she's blowing. She's blowing all right. Now if you change both of those and they're still not working, this switch here can be faulty as well. But we are good to go. You wanna hear the blower? It's two. Three, that's full. 